Alright, so um, we are going to, we've already installed uh, this plugin. Um, we needed to add packing slips to this WooCommerce website, and this one got the best reviews, been installed a bunch of times, and it works with our version and all that fun stuff. So, WooCommerce PDF invoices and packing slips. Uh, create, print, and automatically email PDF invoices and packing slips for WooCommerce orders. What this will do is allow you to actually send or attach PDF invoice on top of uh, the actual order email, as well as allow you to print up packing slips. So once we have it installed, we go ahead and go to plugins, add new, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, activate, you know, uh, install this, and then we're gonna activate it. Once it's active, we'll have the ability to go over to here to WooCommerce, um, and we'll click on PDF invoices. And then you'll see here it's got some uh, basic generic settings. Just leave them set as is right now so you can test them. Um, it does have a test mode, so if you wanted to do any kind of testing, um, currency symbols, expanded font, we put the logo on here. Um, it could be smaller if you want, but th that's a good size, 433. Um, logo heights, whatever, you know, you name your business, you put your shop address here, uh, terms and conditions, so say for instance you want to put something on the bottom of the packing slips, you know, about the refunds or about whatever, you probably you want to put that in here. Um, these extra fields down here are only if you purchase the premium version, and so you really don't need it unless you want this to get all fancy schmancy. So once you're finished editing the address and adding the terms, probably want to add the, I'd probably add the refund terms there. Select Save Changes, Next, you're going to come over to the next tab, which is Documents. So when you're on Documents here, you're going to go ahead and enable this. This was not enabled, okay? And this is for the invoice, right? So I want to send a PDF invoice as an attachment on new orders. And then I also want to put them on Customer um, Invoice Order Details. So that way, when I select the order um, activity, I can send somebody an invoice, email, and it will also attach a PDF version. Um, if people are having problems receiving me, you're going to come back in here and turn this thing off. Uh, Pre-order payment action needed, <clears throat> you can put them on there as well. And then you can disable it for different types, processing, on hold, etc. There's some other configurable items in here as well. So once you're finished, again, you're going to click on save, and then you can click on packing slip. <clears throat> once packing slip is clicked on, it's already enabled. It says display billing address. So we could select this so it's only when it's different from the shipping address, right? Uh, and then we can also put their email address, their phone number, and customer notes. You probably don't want to put anything else on there since it is a packing slip and it may be going to somebody else's gift or whatever. So you might not want to put the billing address on there and just have the shipping address. So we're going to leave it as just the shipping address so we're going to save changes. If you click on status, this will actually give you status of your um, site and how it's um, set up. You can go through here and click on some of these items and tinker around with them a little bit. You don't need to touch this, okay? It gives you how, you know, all the stuff that's available for your site, okay? So now, um, someone's placed an order, and you want to go ahead and, and create a packing slip. You can click on orders. In this case, we'll click on our test order. It is completed right now. It's not in processing or anything. But I just wanted to show this to you. So um, you're going to scroll down here, or actually, if you wanted to send them a um, send order email, if you wanted to send them a new order, you could select this and then select save order and send email. And then what that's going to do is save the order, send them an email with their invoice and attach that PDF to it. And then when you scroll down with that finish, now we're going to scroll down here and you go all the way to the bottom here and then you have this guy. So you can do PDF invoice, you can click this here and create a PDF and it'll open up a new window and you can look at it and save it and whatever. Or I'm not going to do that. You can create a packing slip. So PDF packing slip, I click on that and now there's your packing slip. So all you got to do is print this and you're good to go, okay?